Hey everybody, welcome to our species spotlight on the uh, yellow lab or Libidochromus caruleus. Uh, the yellow lab is endemic to Lake Malawi. It is a Mbuna cichlid that inhabits the central western coastal region of Lake Malawi in East Africa. The electric yellow version of the yellow lab has been found exclusively uh, between Charo and Lyons Cove. Uh, the fish normally inhabits two different types of biotopes within the lake, uh, larger, bio, uh, larger boulder type environments where there are strewn rocks about the bottom and larger boulders, of course, and uh, areas that uh, have large beds of Valisneria present. They're also found in that type of environment too. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the behavior, size, coloration, tank setup, and so forth concerning the Libidochromus caruleus. Um, it's important to note that this Malawi cichlid is really a very, quite a peaceful one when it comes to uh, Malawi cichlids. Um, but even though it's considered peaceful, it, you still have to take into consideration that uh, males are very territorial and they will defend a specific area. So you do need to pay attention to that. Uh, you can mix in other hard water species of tropical fish, such as rainbows and so forth. However, we don't recommend that. We really do recommend you stick to a Malawi type community aquarium. Um, because of the fact that uh, other Malawi cichlids expect this type of territorial behavior, they know how to deal with the occasional chasing and launching of attacks, whereas other species of tropical fish would not, so uh, there's more risk involved in that. When keeping Libidochromus caruleus, we recommend keeping them in a ratio of one male to three females. Um, they reproduce via a uh, mouth brooding method. So the female will mouth brood the eggs and uh, fry until they're completely developed and ready for release. Uh, when keeping Malawis in general, you want to maintain uh, well stocked uh, conditions uh, so that uh, you reduce the male's aggression in defending his, uh, his territory. The coloration of this species is a beautiful deep lemon yellow color. Um, with males showing a lot more uh, black in their dorsal, anal, and ventral fins as they start to uh, court the females more frequently. Uh, they also exhibit uh, much more prominent egg spots in their anal fin. The maximum length of the Libidochromus scruleus is about four inches or 10 centimeters in length in an aquarium. Uh, the minimum aquarium size is 50 gallons or 200 liters. And as you can see in this uh, aquarium behind me where we're keeping our, our group of yellow labs, uh, it's actually a Sienna 72 gallon aquarium and they're very comfortable in there in fact. Uh, the typical type of aquarium setup should be uh, or should contain uh, a fine sand bottom and a lot of rock structure where the fish can get in between nooks and crannies, some caves if possible. Uh, those things provide a very natural uh, habitat for the fish, in fact. And of course, the lighting uh, you want to make sure is relatively bright lighting. That will stimulate algae growth. And uh, these fish being Ambuna love to graze on algae on, on hard surfaces. When it comes to water conditions, these are hard water fish. Uh, water movement should be moderate. Uh, it's no, there's no need to have really strong currents of water, of water movement rather. Uh, pH range should be somewhere between 7.8 and 8.5 or 8.6. Uh, the hardness range should be about uh, 10 to 25 dH. And the temperature range uh, between 75 and uh, 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 to 28 degrees Celsius. When it comes to feeding the yellow lab, it's not a challenging fish to feed. They're, they're very aggressive towards most types of food. Uh, feeding is not an issue, but there are some things you need to be aware of. This is a species that really should be given predominantly a vegetable-based type diet. A couple of products that come to mind that are really good for these fish are, are uh, Fluval 
bug bite spirulina flakes. Number one ingredient, of course, in there being spirulina, which is a tough find on the market these days, given the expense of that ingredient. Uh, but that's an excellent food for uh, yellow labs. Um, there's also uh, Fluval spirulina crisps, which are excellent, uh, an excellent food format, being a hard disc. Uh, Malawis love to graze on hard surfaces, so they'll naturally appreciate grinding away at the discs uh, uh, that this food format offers. Uh, you can feed other types of flakes and pellets, of course, but make sure they're predominantly algae-based. Too much animal protein matter you know, has been related to Malawi bloat in these types of uh, embuna, so uh, make sure to really go heavy on the vegetable side when selecting their diet. In summary, I'd like to say that the Yellow Lab is one of our favorite Libidochromis, uh, being a very peaceful imbuna. It's easy to mix with other peaceful species, and that's a nice plus for, uh, for keeping African cichlids for sure. Uh, the electric yellow coloration is very unique. It's a very solid, bright, intense yellow, really makes it stand out. And it's also an interesting species in that you'll have a slowly growing population of them typically as when they release their fry into the rock work. Uh, they're not too aggressive a species. You'll, you'll see that some young ones will start to grow and you'll have an actual increasing uh, population of Libidochromis. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Until the next time.